Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Create Flavored Mod Pack. In the previous episode we got started on the chicken farm here, and I've just gone ahead and renamed it. Um, I actually put TFC here for uh, Tin Starfish Fried Chicken, um, but it's also a little bit of a memorial for Tinfoil Chef, so yeah that's a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of an Easter egg. Um, so if we go ahead and head inside, um, I have AFK'd here for just a little bit, uh, but we do already have 18 uh, cooked chicken, which is really good. Now that should allow us to uh, at least make a few sandwiches off the start. And fortunately, we're still getting some eggs in here and there's tons of chicken, uh, chicken babies in there ready to uh, get cooked up. So what I want to work on today is the final step in making chicken sandwiches, and that's going to be the chicken shop itself. Um, I'm going to try to get a good vantage point here, but uh, so the plan is going to be pretty simple. Essentially, what I want to do is um, have a little bit of a cabbage patch in the um, behind their area. Uh, or maybe underground, beneath the building, something like that. Um, I want the cabbage to be here. Actually, honestly, I might put it where the uh, wheat and other farms are, uh, just to keep things a little bit organized. Um, I'm already going to be going over uh, and getting wheat on the train, um, so I might as well uh, just uh, get cabbage while I'm over there. The next step will be to pull out as many ingredients from uh, both the chicken farm and the bread farm as well as the uh, cabbage patch um, and evenly split them into a mixer. Now the mixer will actually allow us to, um, to automatically um, combine all of the ingredients that we're going to need. And it looks like we're also going to need carrots which is something I didn't actually know. Um, I might have just skipped right over that. Um, but yeah, that should be fine. So we'll just have to make both a cabbage and a carrot farm over at the, at the farming district. And while I'm traveling over to the farming district, um, this is going to be our list of ingredients. Now, I'll probably need to add a few here and there like I usually do because I always forget something. Um, but the basic mechanics of this is really going to be um, a mechanical piston, some mechanical harvesters, a power source, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll probably also need some chests uh, here and there, but uh, yeah, so basically the plan is to um, do the farms a little bit differently. Um, the reason for this is because every time I come over here, and we'll probably see it happening, yep, just like that. All of my farms keep breaking. Now apparently these farms really do not like to be um, loaded and then unloaded like we have been so yeah they just keep breaking and then every time I come over here I have to uh, fix them and I always forget to uh, replant it so um, what I'm gonna do is go for a farm that should be a little bit more robust and a little bit more resistant to uh, yeah to being um, unloaded and loaded. So with the first farm, this is going to be our cabbage farm. I want it to start here-ish. And, oh, it looks like I can't just place down harvesters. I can place them here. Um, these will probably end up being like logs or linear chassis. Um, so yeah, I just want to make this five, wa uh, five wide. So one, two, three, four, five and just place down some harvesters like this and we may need uh we may not even need a uh block here but uh, next i'm gonna put a sticky mechanical piston here and i am gonna actually need to uh yeah i forgot the the piston arms but essentially what this will do is the mechanical piston will push the mechanical uh harvesters along a little bit of a path here and then they'll it'll retract and uh yeah it shouldn't 
I may need to move this one back actually, um, but it shouldn't um, it shouldn't have any issues with being loaded or unloaded, um, like this one, because it'll only be going off every once in a while. And one important thing that I completely forgot that we're going to need is actually going to be a uh, sequenced gear shift. Now I think there we go. Um, this will actually allow us to um, push in and pull out the uh, mechanical piston in like the certain order that we need. So this is roughly what our um, machine is going to be looking like. Um, I did remember to glue it all together, so we just want um, like the logs and the harvesters to be connected together. And then we'll have a sticky mechanical piston here, which will push and pull the system. And we just have a length of 11 pulls. That should be enough to push it all the way out here. And then when it stops, it will actually break um, the farmland beneath it. So what we want to do is just have it go like one further than we actually need. And then, uh, yeah, that should be pretty much everything that we need. And next, what I'm going to do is just make sure that there is dirt in place um, everywhere that we're going to need it. Going probably up to here. Something like that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll fill it out with uh, the farmland. So it should look something like this. Now, I've just put a little bit of uh, water sources here on the sides. Um, and I've left two blocks here. Uh, that way, uh, yeah, when, when the machine itself stops, um, these two uh, parts shouldn't... Um, till up any of the ground and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this with uh, cabbage seeds next up what I want to do is actually get our sequenced gear shift um, all figured out and I think I'm actually gonna set up the power for it first so immediately it won't actually activate unless you give it a redstone signal um, but what I want to do is um, figure out exactly so basically what we want to do is uh, turn this down to the piston mode and we'll have it extend we'll say I think we had it set to 11 so that should be good and then we'll have it end for now so when we give it a redstone signal it should yep it'll just go ahead and go it is a little bit slow Um, but as you can see, it's harvesting as it goes. And we'll see how far out it actually goes. Looks like it's about to reach the end. Ah, and we were one short, actually. And one thing I didn't think about this while uh, planning this out is um, the piston arms themselves will actually break the crops. Hmm... I may need to rearrange this so that the uh, piston st uh, sits one block higher. All right, so I'm gonna give it one more test here. Um, I've just attached a uh, chest and um, moved the mechanical piston up by one block. Uh, so let's see how this does. And it may need a second, possibly. And it definitely helps to uh, remember to raise up your power. Um, it took me a few minutes to realize that, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give it one more go. Here we go. So it should come all the way out here now. If I did it right. Yep, perfect. And then it comes right back. Awesome. So that is the basics for this. Now we're also going to need to set up a timer here for uh, for the redstone. So I think the best way to go about powering this redstone um, sequenced gear shift is actually going to be an etho hopper clock. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on building one. Uh, hopefully I can remember how to build it off the top of my head. Um, yeah should be something like this redstone coming out there and it should look something like that hopefully i did this right 
And uh, yeah, I don't know the exact timing that we're going to need, but um, we can get rid of that as well. Um, but I'll probably end up adjusting it, um, yeah, to fit our needs a little bit better. So while I'm waiting for this to continue working, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, get started on the carrot side. I'm just going to do that off camera really quick. And uh, yeah, that should be the farming end uh, done. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't mean to do that. Oh, dang it. Ah, uh, I think I glued the ground to the, uh, the machine. Ah, uh, uh, this is a disaster. Well, I guess we can consider this a PSA. Um, yeah, double check that you, uh, glued everything properly before you, uh, run a machine. Uh, cause you might have to end up replanting all of your crops. Uh, and we're back. So I decided to add the wheat farm here as well. Um, that way, if one part of this breaks, um, it'll be easy to just have all of these break at the same time. Um, that way, yeah, all I would have to do is uh, fix probably the most likely thing that would happen would be right here. Um, but yeah, so that is all three of the ingredients and we can actually see this thing running right now. Um, yeah, everything is working. And uh, yeah, so I just added a hopper here and all of the ingredients will actually end up inside that chest right there. And then we'll get um, dropped out with a uh, brass funnel here and put onto a belt that hooks up to the uh, rest of the system. And uh, yeah, it can be uh, transported back to the uh, base. So I also now have a pretty empty area over here. Now what I could do is maybe add like a potato field um, and maybe some of the other uh, crops that were added with uh, with this mod pack. Um, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe I just add a building here. Uh, maybe some sort of like control panel for all of the farms over here. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but yeah, we definitely have room to expand this out later on. So from here, what I want to do is go ahead and get started on the build for the sandwich shop. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably come back. I'm thinking I'm going to do it off camera just to uh, save a little bit of video time. And here we have it. There is the sandwich shop. Now, you might notice that I pretty much just copied the design from the bakery over to this one and changed up the roof and yeah, pretty much just inverted the colors. I I think it turned out really well. Um, yeah, I definitely like the colors on this one. So if we head inside, I still haven't decorated it yet. And uh, yeah, here is the space in the back. It is pretty much the exact same as the bakery. Um, we even have like this little back area. And eventually I might put a like an apartment or something up top um, up over the loft area. So we're going to need a few things for this. The first thing we're going to need is a mechanical mixer. We'll also need a basin. Some belts and shafts. A few barrels. And we're going to need about seven andesite funnels. You can also use brass funnels for this if you'd like. We'll also need some basic inventory hoppers from Tom's Simple Storage. Um, that'll allow us to pull all the ingredients out of the system and put the sandwiches back into the system. So what I'm thinking of doing is having three different um, spots where the items will come in from. So we'll have um, a barrel on top of each of these points here. And then in the center, everything will hook up and get put into a basin. And the output will come out through the front. So the system will end up looking something a little bit like this. Um, I'm actually going to replace these pieces of granite with um, our basic inventory hoppers. And I believe they need to be pointed that direction. So right now what I'm doing is just hooking up the chicken farm to the uh, storage system. Um, I kind of forgot to do that in the previous episode. So um, yeah, that should be hooked up now. And I may need to flip this thing around. Never remember which direction that needs to go. 
here we go, it's starting to empty out. And now what I can do is actually hook all of these barrels um, up to the system, which uh, conveniently comes uh, right here. And now that they're all hooked up, what I want to do is actually apply a filter to all of them. Oops. So, um, one of them will be chicken. One will be cabbage. One will be bread. And, ooh, I forgot about the carrots. Hmm. I'll have to uh, maybe work that in somewhere here as well. So I'll apply the cooked chicken there. Um, we'll do cabbage on this one. And bread on this one. So we should be seeing, yep, here we go. Uh, bread is starting to come out and into the system. Cool. And after a few more adjustments, this is roughly what we're going to be working with. Now, um, we have four inputs here, so what I needed to do was actually uh, move the output to a barrel down here. And uh, that actually has a hopper hooked up with a brass funnel there. Uh, next up, we're actually going to need to make a sandwich to uh, actually uh, set up our filter. Now, I should have all of the ingredients here. Um, they might be in these chests, though. Wow, that's a lot of bread. Okay. And carrots should be here. There we go. And here is our first chicken sandwich. Nice. So I need to um, apply it down here to the uh, funnel. I may need to break a few things here. Um, that way, let's see if I can do it. Uh, that way it's not going to be exporting all the ingredients out. Um, it'll just be exporting the sandwiches. And I'm also going to apply a filter to the basin as well. Um, that way it's only making sandwiches and yeah, just in case our ingredients get mix, uh, mismatched, they don't make like a salad or something instead. So the only step now is to, uh, yeah, to hook up some power and uh, get this thing rolling. Um, I think I want the belts to move pretty much at half speed. And then I want to actually double the uh, mixer. That way we're uh, we're getting like a really good mixture of ingredients compared to um, how many sandwiches we're making. Okay, and with that, that is this entire system done. Now, originally I was going to use a steam engine for this, but it was really just overcomplicating everything. And this is a relatively uh, small system, so... Yeah, we didn't really need the power of a steam engine, but, uh, yeah, I did have to tear out pretty much this entire wall, so I'm probably going to be, uh, fixing this up for a bit. And if we go ahead and take a look inside of our system... Oh, yeah, oops. Yeah, we've, uh, we've already gotten 19 sandwiches. That's, um, that's really good. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that is this system done, pretty much. Now, I am going to have to uh, AFK, probably ride the train for a while to uh, get some more carrots because we only had a few left in the system. And I think that's what it's waiting on right now. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, though, I think that's all the time we're going to have for today. In the next episode, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I think it might be a good idea to get some more uh, vanilla progress done. So... Uh, maybe getting full netherite, maybe taking on the dragon, um, I'm not really sure yet though. If you have any suggestions for what you want to see from this series, um, please go ahead and leave a suggestion in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you next time, peace.